Sponsor Eli the Computer Guy's vlog. Put your message in front of the motivated geeks that are actively trying to build a better world. So this question comes from Melissa N. I noticed in your videos that you like to use Microsoft Security Essentials. Why do you prefer that over all other antivirus software out there? And would you recommend it over products like Advast? I currently use McAfee software and was wondering about switching to something that might run better. Yes, sadly at this point in time, <laughs> Probably anything would run better than McAfee. I used to be a McAfee fanboy. Well, I wasn't really a fanboy, but I sold a lot of McAfee products. For like a decade, all I installed was McAfee. And then the quality of McAfee kind of went down. It was kind of weird. It seems like about the time Intel bought McAfee, McAfee became a lot worse. Which is kind of like, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but, but it is true. So in a lot of my videos, I talk about um, Microsoft Security Essentials. Um, and especially when I was doing a lot of those videos, that, that is the one I recommended at the time. Again, do remember, uh, do realize, whenever you watch anybody's videos, mine or anybody else's, uh, always look at date. Date published. Uh, because the date published, especially in the technology world, is very significant. So um, back when I was really pushing Microsoft Security Essentials, Microsoft Security Essentials act was actually a very good uh, antivirus solution. So uh, it, it tracked very well in the uh, the antivirus tests. Uh, it was free. Uh, it required low resources. And the other thing that I liked way back then uh, was that they opened it up for small businesses too. And this is an important thing to realize uh, with a lot of the free antivirus software out there is it's free for home users. So again, as I tell you guys, you should always try to abide by the licenses. And so one of the big problems, especially when I'm talking to you guys as consultants going out there, is you guys will go out and install Avast or AVG onto business systems. And it's not free for business systems. It's like 40 or 50 bucks per year for a subscription for a business system. Um, and that's what a lot of people don't do. So what I liked with Microsoft Security Essentials is at the time it was very good uh, and and it was free for up to, to, to 10 computers in a small business environment. So it just solved a lot of problems. It was just like it was free, it was good, it was reliable, so on and so forth. Um, I still use Microsoft Security Essentials uh, on a lot of my systems, but uh, the main reason that I use Microsoft Security Essentials on a lot of my systems is um, I don't actually use a lot of Windows anymore. So Windows is usually running for me in a virtualized environment and it's very task specific. So uh, I will open up uh, Windows 7 in order to do some work on Adobe. I'll open up Windows 7 in order to play with a new piece of software from like one of these, these, these people who send me a review item and I need a piece of software, so I'll open it up. So basically, um, I'm opening up a Windows instance when it, within a very controlled environment and I do very controlled things to it. So I'm, I'm not really the worried about very much nastiness coming through. I'm not opening up emails. So I don't have to worry about spear phishing attacks. Um, I don't have to worry about a lot of things. And so I still use Microsoft Security Essentials because it's free for that commercial use. And it's it's very low. It's it's very it's very fast. It's low on resource consumption. Now, if it was me out there in, in the real world again. Um, I'm not sure what I would use. Um, uh, uh, Kaspersky. A lot of people like Kaspersky. I'd probably be leaning more to Kaspersky now. Um, Again, the problem is the problem is, is Microsoft Security Essentials. Again, it was it was it was really good at one time. It was really at one time it was really bad. Like it was like Microsoft Live or One Care or whatever the hell that piece of crap was. At one time it was really bad, and then it got really good. And now it seems to come like I'm not quite sure how much I would trust. Again, I would trust it in a controlled environment. I wouldn't really trust it on client computers that I had to, uh, you know, respond to somebody. Uh, so the problem is, is so when if you're looking at things like like free antivirus software. Again, most of this antivirus software out there isn't actually free for commercial environments. It's free for home use. So, you know, if you're doing home use, I would probably look at Avast or I would look at AVG. If you want a free solution, I would look at Avast or I would look at AVG. Um, th th those are good. Those are lightweight. They've always ranked uh, pretty well. So I would take a look at those, look at what the current you know, results of those are. Uh, if I was looking to pay right now, I think I would probably be leaning more to Kaspersky. Um, never heard a whole lot of bad problems with this Kaspersky. Uh, a lot of people really like Kaspersky. I've used Kaspersky in the past. It seems to work really well. So I think for the paid solution, I would do Kaspersky. Uh, as far as McAfee goes, again, since Intel's purchased McAfee, I don't know what's... What, it doesn't make a damn bit of sense, but it seems like in, uh, since Intel purchased McAfee, the quality of McAfee has just gone down the toilet. Uh, Norton, the other one that you see out there a lot, I just find Norton to be an utter pain in the ass. Uh, I find that Nor I find 
personal opinion, is Norton seems to break more than it fixes. <laughs> Um, again, I have seriously made thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Literally, I have made probably enough to pay off my car, literally fixing the problems that Norton created. Like, all of a sudden, it blocked port 80, or all of a sudden, it blocks a USB port so they can't print anymore. Oh, no, we can't print! And then I get there, and I disable Norton Fire Security Suite, and all of a sudden, they can print. Right. So I stay the hell away from Norton. Uh, so I would say Kaspersky. If you're looking for free, Avast or AVG should be fine for you. Uh, if you're looking for paid, I would argue probably go for Kaspersky.